Libra, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of February 28th through March 6th of 2021. So energy of the week, you have number 42, woman holding a coin. This card could represent someone um, who is taking control of their finances. Um, so this could represent you uh, maybe having like an opportunity, a job opportunity, something like that. Um, but if this is not you, this could represent someone who, um, a woman who would be helping you with finances or health. It doesn't necessarily have to be finances. It could be your finances or health. All right, Libra, let's see what challenges or obstacles you might face. I feel like for the energy of the week is you're getting some sort of assistance from someone. Um, it would be some woman, um, someone who's very control of their finan finances. Um, so if they're helping you with finances, it's someone who's very in charge of their things. Um, if they're helping you with a health situation, they're helping you financially with a health situation. All right. And of course it could just be you. Like I said, Libra, you just could be taking control of your own finances maybe like becoming doing something to become more independent something like that all right let's see a challenge or obstacle that you might face you have the four of swords so the four of swords when i see this card i always feel like you need to lay your swords down um you need to stop battling um it's time to rest um it's time to um, maybe just kind of like lay the fight down that kind of thing um, but I'm feeling like you're not wanting to lay down. Um, you're not wanting to lay your swords down. If there's some sort of argument or battle or disagreement, you're not wanting um, to to stop. Uh, you're not wanting to lay down and rest, that kind of thing. If it is a health situation, um, it's telling you that you need to rest and you're not wanting to. But a lesson that you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle, you have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is about loss. A lot of times the five of cups you can see he's always looking at the spilt cups here he doesn't notice the two cups behind him but he also doesn't notice this bridge behind him that's going to lead him to this mansion so you're only focused on what is currently lost and you're not focused on what is coming in the future um, and this is a lesson you've already learned so i feel like you know um, like you're not wanting to rest because you feel like you're going to lose something um, you're not wanting to like if it's a health situation you're not wanting to stop or pause because you feel like you're going to lose out on something but this card is telling you um, that you're going to gain more in your future than whatever this loss is right here and then outcome for the week you have death so death is an ending um, the death is a it's a death and rebirth whenever something ends it means something new begins um, so clearly something is coming to an end here we are going to clarify this week Libra let's see if we can figure out uh, what is going on get a little bit more information for each of these cards for each part of your week all right, so for the Four of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords, um, a very uh, mental anguish, a lot of mental pain, a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, insomnia. Um, so I'm going to go with this could be um, someone is helping you with a health situation um, and you are maybe like for someone who wants to stay busy all the time, you're not wanting to like stop your work and focus on your health, something like that. Um, it could be causing you a lot of sleepless nights. It could be causing you a lot of worry, a lot of mental worry, something like that. The Five of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, um, so something you've been working really hard towards. Um, so if this isn't your health, it could be saying that you need to work really hard towards your health. Um, but if you have been working really hard, whether it's towards your finances or your health, um, it's in your lessons already learned. So I feel like you've been working on this, whatever this is, for a long time. And then the death and rebirth is clarified by the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is about having clarity, um, understanding where you need to move forward, like where your next part of your journey is coming from. So clearly there is a part of your journey that's ending, it's stopping. Um, and then now you're going to find the clarity at the end of this week to be able to know like where the next step forward is. All right, Libra, we are going to pull guidance cards from Queen of the Moon Oracle. And we'll pull two of them, one for the beginning of the week and one for the end of the week. So 
you have extremes it's the hot moon number 34 um, extremes talks about being really passionate about something but staying calm in extreme situations um, so when you're really passionate about something we feel really driven to do something um, and we don't really think about the consequences and I feel like this one is just telling you um, that there are consequences to your actions so try to stay calm in dramatic situations and then, of course, the masculine. Um, the masculine is someone who is very protective. Um, it's your, it's so we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. And your masculine energy is what protects you. What um, it's kind of like where you find like your security, um, your strength. That kind of thing comes from your masculine energy. And I feel like you're getting some sort of balance in that energy. Um, you're gonna calm that energy, something like that. All right, Libra, we're going to end it with a Moonology Oracle, and this can help with your thoughts and emotions. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be a very emotional week. I think I'm feeling tired, like you might just um, have really been putting something off or working really hard towards something, um, and that phase is finally coming to an end, um, and it's time to start, take this leap off into this new uh, part of your journey. So I feel like it could just be like maybe like mental exhaustion, really stressed, um, not get not sleeping well, that kind of thing. All right, let's see. All right, so you had two flip. It's a gibbous moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. And full moon in Libra. There you go, Libra. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Can't get any better than that. All right, Libra, thank you so much for watching. As always, if it feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.